Welcome everybody to the end of episode three. The Cycloid Emperor. And here we have Duke's cheerleaders, and over here we have the Cycloid Emperor's cheerleaders. So as we see, it's a fight between Duke Nukem and the Badass, the Cycloid Emperor. You must be wary of his rockets. They are very sporadic. They're very randomized. But you can shoot the blimp right here to gain access to all of our ammo and health that we need. What we do need right now is a refill on the jetpack also the atomic health. And now we're ready to kill the Cycloid Emperor. Come on, cheerleaders! Cheer for Duke Nukem! This is it! After a few days of R and R, I'll be ready for more action. Aw, come back to bed, do. I'm ready for some action now. Oh, it uh. <laughs> it sounds to me that Duke Nukem took one of those cheerleaders home, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sure John St. John and the voice actors had a lot of fun making that sound clip in the studio. That's all I gotta say. This map is hard. This map is really hard. It brings everything to you, and if you're not prepared, you're going to die aplenty. This is my... I don't even know how many attempts this is. I Probably six or seven. Luckily, though, the map is very short. If the map were very long, it'd be very frustrating. Uh, because, literally, the danger is the Cycloid Emperor. He can step on you. He's very quick. You can use your steroids if you want to. They give you, like, three or four steroids down here. Um, but it's not recommended to stay down on the stadium floor. What you want to do is use the jetpack and get him to use the rockets on you from a distance, mind you, because they're very sporadic. They can go every which way, and it's like playing on Nightmare difficulty um, with an invisibility sphere. You really can't predict where he's going to shoot his rockets. You almost have to lead him to shoot the rockets in a certain direction, and he also has a second attack, which is very rare. He doesn't usually do it that often. Luckily, though, in the thumbnail of this video, I actually got him to use the attack. And he shoots out of his mouth. He shoots these spheres, like octobrain spheres, that they shoot out of their mouths. These circles, uh, beams of energy, and they're very quick, and they're multiples in number, so they're very deadly if they hit you just like the Octobrain attacks. But aside from that, if you can use the jetpack and the RPG, you're good to go. The thing is, though, you need to be able to acquire these things first, and then you're good to go. But that's it. Episode 3 is done. Officially wrapped up, and we're done. The next thing we're going to do is move on to Episode 4, which was not released with the original Duke 3D back in early 1996. It wasn't until late 1996 when the Atomic Edition came out, which included the fourth episode. 
So I will see you guys in that episode next time. Take care, everybody.